beautiful up there, dude. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, we'll hook it up there. Hello, Americans. Another friends and subscribers around the world. Back again, me and Timothy. How's it going? <laughs> up here doing some uh, grouse hunting. Got two this morning. Uh, Timothy forgot to eject, or jack a shell in one. It was pretty comical. I wish I'd had that on video. <laughs> Got all excited for his first one today. But uh, we're going to head up. Obviously, it's a little hard to, you know, hunt and film. I you don't know, have the pleasure of a film crew following us around, but we'll try to get what we can. We're going to do a little, some more grouse hunting and then go over here and hit the, hit the, uh, river a little bit and do some fishing this afternoon we'll kind of just uh check in and out through the day i reckon you ready to go find some more grouse timothy so it's all about shotguns and fishing poles today down here friggin just got here first cast timothy catches a knife about a two pounder and uh, I snagged up, so I had to go back up to the truck, so I thought I better get this camera. So it's hard for us to film with, uh, both of us, neither one of us is going to give up fishing or uh, hunting to do it. Hey, what you got over there, Timothy? Oh, yeah. That's nice. Got to hold it out towards the camera. <laughs> that always looks bigger that way. But that is a nice, about a two-pound Idaho Dang. rainbow trout, baby. Look, put this camera down and get me uh, on this creek. I know you guys are all probably wanting that. Let's see if the camera does that there. Fishing videos, you know, actually action, you know, seeing actual fishing instead of, uh, I know I'm doing crazy crap with the camera, <laughs> but, uh, that's kind of hard when you, just me and Timothy and, you know, both wanting to fish, you know, he's one up on me, man, I don't like that too much. But I was just going to show you real quick of what we, uh, what we're using, is a, uh, it's actually an eagle claw my favorite brand of fishing poles and stuff but uh, Eagle Claw puts these out which I need to get more because they're out but with a spinner man it's like a four or five pack of spinner for like three bucks or four bucks man and these are you know I prefer I got gold ones too or brass but uh these are the killer you know and all I do is depending on how fast the water and this is deeper and uh, a little more swift right now so I actually use a you know, bigger bigger weight and then uh, um, oops, where's that? Yeah, I guess it's about a size five weight. Size five weight and then you know a lot of people like uh like the uh you know swivels and stuff and I use swivels on occasions using spinners, but for the most part, I just like to directly you know, tie them on. I use the same, I know some other knots and stuff, but I use the same one that my grandpa taught me when I was a kid. It's very seldom failed. And when it did fail, I blame, might blame it on the knot, but it probably wasn't the knot's fault. Always wet it. Yeah, man. I know I shouldn't use my teeth. So then, uh, so there you go, man. About a two foot leader, a spinner, and then a worm works good too. Which we didn't get bring no worms, and I use a lot of. I like my pot ski eggs. I use pot ski eggs. Like I said, about a 12, or uh, I think it's about 18 inches, 18 inch leader. I have the trust pliers and give it a little squeeze. I'm going to head down the creek and 
pull down. Actually, I think I'm going to pull up a little bit because he's working his way down the river. It's actually not a crook. But, uh, I think I'm going to pull up and shoot. We like to, a lot of times, we'll play, uh, leapfrog, you know, and take turns. One will, you know, drop one off here. I'll pull up. I'll start taking off. And whoever's with me, whether it be KVD or Paul or Timothy, and we just play leapfrog, and the next person gets back to the truck, and pull the truck up past that guy, you know, and just keep doing that on up the road. I'm kind of taking a bit of grass up there, too. So, I guess I'll uh, try to get some footage. So I did show you this is uh, one of our favorite places. You know, anytime that we're up here fishing or hunting or whatever, we'll come down in here and you know, eat our lunch and everything, man. It's such a beautiful and peaceful place. So we come down here today, and lo and behold. You know, try not to gripe too much about it. You know, it's all just people and stuff. This one is just freaking, I mean, it's strung over there. Look at it, you can see it out there. You know where Timothy's at. We're going to pick it up before we eat our lunch and stuff. And then, actually, it was all of us, the whole, the whole tribe was sitting around. We were talking and uh, talking about next year, I think, what I might do with the litter thing. Huh? Even got somebody's name on it. Imagine that. Hmm. But next year, I do gotta show Miss Kitty this. That's pretty cool. Look at that pretty thing, Miss Kitty. Let me get on. I better take a picture of that. And all this here. But next year, I think what we're gonna do is at the start on a Labor Day weekend, from Labor Day weekend to Memorial Day weekend, I think I'm just gonna put all the trash in one trailer on the property just to see how much we get in a three month period. Cause I pick it up, you know, I just, you know. Don't want to be out being the garbage man on video all the time. If I just had to show that, that really disgusts us. But other than that, man, look at that. Peace and serenity, man. Why they would do that. Look at that toothpick across the river there. And that hole that I'm going to fish right after uh, lunch. Alright. I just couldn't take any more. I was down there trying to fish. And just kept on knowing I has had to come back up here and do that. Timothy's down there fishing. Still have a few pieces there. The stuff's spread out. And there was there's car floor mats and just insane, man. Man, what the hell is wrong with these people? You know, my philosophy of thinking on that is, uh, you know, if you flatlanders want to come up here to our, our hills, freaking. Uh, Clean up after yourself or stay the hell out of my mountains. Ooh, Christmas. You know, that's for everybody, man. We like to pull in and see it all beautified, too. You know, we all own this. It's all, you know, this is ours. Take care of it, for God's sake. You know, I remember, uh, I always had a strong impression on me, too. You know, I was a kid of the 70s. And, uh, many of you that are my age or older remembers old Crying Eyes Cody, you know, the Indian that, you know, comes down or he comes out of the hills, you know, and there's the traffic and all that trash blowing around and stuff and a tear goes down the, down his face, you know, that's what always, when I come down to this, that's, man, the first thing that pops into my mind, you know, and then the other one that friggin' was late in the 70s, still going on too, is, uh, old, uh, Hootie, you know, give a hoot, don't pollute, well, come on, people, get your heads out, it's ridiculous, it's absolutely disgusting. Down here is one of them moments. One of my favorite movies. And all things come together and a river runs through it. 
but I feel like when I'm down on some of these places, I always call them my river runs through at moment. Fishing's beautiful today. The catching hasn't been so great, but yeah, on a day like today. How could you ever complain? You waiting for cute? Back to little grass hunting. Seen about 10 grass. Tim shot at four, I think. I shot at two, got one. Tim shot at four or five, got one. He's still practicing. So I was gonna kick one up, man. Well, I got this camera in my hand. I was gonna try to. See my back way back up there. But I was gonna try to uh, do something like this. <laughs> Knock my teeth out or something. I don't know, I gotta figure out how to get. Are right you right here, Coot? Right here, Coot. Oh, muddy, muddy. Uh, Yeah, so I was gonna kick one up. I was gonna try to film myself, try to film myself missing one or something. What you think, Timothy? So what you think? Pretty. Love it. <laughs> it's good fishing. Just catch anywhere the crap. We thought when he caught that lunker that we were going to hammer him, but and I'll tell you what, man, it's definitely a river runs through it area, man, it is amazing. That's, so we got two grouse and one fish. One fish. Hey, don't laugh, man. <laughs>